All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Texas Motor Speedway for tonight's running of the Texas Two-Step 150 here for the OCRP Monday Night League. I am beyond excited for this race. Welcome in to the broadcast. I hope y'all are having a wonderful, wonderful Monday. Now to cap off your Monday evening's festivities here with the OCRP Monday Night League. Uh, we have, let's see, we got 21 drivers out here taking the time so far. You know what I mean in the booth? It's gonna be nobody. We don't have anybody in the booth right now, so. Um, or anybody to come with us. So we saw last week at Talladega, we saw Joel Brown in the 43 car take home the checkered flag for the first race of the season. And we, we, we are just, just excited, as excited can be, to progress on with the rest of the season. But here, Texas, the 1.5 mile track. It says 1.46, but it's 1.5 mile. We reconfigured it a couple of years ago. As we're going to go uh, static TV cameras, show you around here. It turns one and two dramatically different in three and four. A lot more banking in three and four. A lot more grip in three and four as well. Turns one and two have been widened. back with the reconfiguration so uh temperature is going to be the same as normal i race in default 79 degrees fahrenheit wind direction coming out of the north at two miles per hour partly cloudy skybox here and the should be the 2 p.m hour here in the sim I'd like to thank y'all all for joining us tonight i believe we, we're going to have a Fantastic race for y'all. Top of the practice board is the 86 of Jason Lance, Joel Brown in the 43 and the 60 of Ryan Potter. Might have gotten out here when the track was a lot colder. But um, like I said, we got 21 cars looking to do battle here to see who can raise those six shooters out in victory lane. Qualifying underway here. I'm going to see who gets out onto the track first. Uh, let's see. Differenti Potter still there. Let's see. We'll go on board. Let's see, the 48 of Nick Sargent. We'll go and watch him. Going around here. With his two qualifying lap attempts. So I've got to apologize. Uh, I'm very under the weather. So if I just stop mid-sentence, I can't help it. I'm trying to breathe. So um, Nick Sarge is starting his first of two laps. You see here in the one and two, he drives that 48 Gobstopper Camaro. Tracks it back all the way out to the outside retaining wall here at No Limits, Texas. And across the line for the first of his two laps. Put some P2 on the board. P2 on the board. Ooh, it's going... Going the opposite way, huh? Oh, very loose out of turn four for the 48 on this last uh, qualifying attempt. So that's going to put him back down uh, a little bit there. So uh, Jason Lance, though, completing his qualifying effort on the top of the scoring pylon as of right now. Let's see if there's going to be anybody that can uh, knock him off that top spot. Still got a lot of people out to qualify, including Ryan and Steven. Ryan and Steven, you might know him as Siv Ryan. You might not know him at all. 
but he decided to join us here. The number 12, Captain Morgan Supra, out on the racetrack for his first of two laps. Thirteenth on the scoring pylon. And he's gonna one and done it. And there's the twenty-two, Alexanderino. Going with his qualifying attempt as well. Way wide into turn one. Gonna be probably not gonna be a uh a great lap. Not what Reno is looking for here. This is what he's going to get. As he comes across the line. Uh, 13th on the, on, the, uh, on the charts. Anybody else out on the track? Uh, let's see. Doesn't look like Hilton, Kellert, Wilson, or DeFrenchy are going to qualify. A minute left in qualifying. It's going to be kind of hard for anybody to get out there to beat that time. So I uh, don't see Aaron Beaver out here either. Oh, he has stopped on the racetrack. So I believe that is going to do it for qualifying. The pole goes to Jason Lance here in the 86 car. So congratulations to him by one one thousandth of a second. They literally ran the same exact time. You see it as 0 0.001 on your screen. It is the exact same time. They both ran a 30.812, the 86 and the 67 car. They're going to have a little bit of driver's meeting. Alex is in here. Whenever he's ready, he can uh, go ahead and, and, and advance it or give it to Tony or whatever. You know, whenever is good enough to advance is good enough. So um, we're going to have 100 laps now. 100 laps here tonight is the equivalent of what we were running last season at our mile and a half tracks. So these guys are used to running these longer races. 21 drivers. 17 take a time, 21 out here in the session. It's going to be an interesting race, to say the least. You got a couple of fast guys mired in the back. You got some really fast guys towards the front. And where is every everything is going to come to a head here? Probably about halfway. So they can run about 55 to 60 laps on the take of fuel here. I don't know if we're going to have enough green flag racing for that. If we do, we do. If we don't, we don't. But they're going to try to run. They're going to try to get a, um, try to just get to lap 100 and see who gets there first. So, uh, Jason Lance, pole tied with Leonard Fodorero. Uh, Kyle Cleveland, Nick Sargent, Kyle Carpenter will go down our grid as soon as they get onto the starting grid right before they roll off. So the difference between this and Thursday night, you see the questions in the chat. We are reading the chats. We read everybody's chat. Um, is nothing really. Just a little bit shorter distance from what we're actually going to run on Thursday night. Thursday night, we're going to run 125 laps here. Essentially, this is just a pra uh, practice race. This is so the guys can get practice in race conditions with these cars at these tracks and get, give them a preparation for Thursday. Um, real quick, I'm going to uh, shout out Timothy Ring 22 for the follow. And it looks like we are moving on to our starting grid. Race officials have advanced the session, so 
We're going to go down our starting grid here for our 100 lap main event here, the Texas Two-Step 150 for the OCRP Monday Night League. Like I said, I'm a little bit under the weather. I, actually, I, I tested positive for COVID, so, you know, there's a the thing. Um, not exactly the best thing, but, uh, you know, it, it is what it is. So we're going to try and push through and make sure that y'all get the broadcast that y'all deserve for these drivers. So we're going to go ahead and show our starting grid for tonight's festivities. To the 86 IC machine of Jason Lance on pole. To his outside is going to be Leonard Fodorero, the fifth in the 67 car. We've got Kyle Cleveland in the 11, the Red Bull machine. To his outside, the 48 of Nick Sargent, who we were uh, riding around with earlier. 77, Kyle Carpenter actually able to come out to this race. Uh, rookie going to start in position number five. And to his outside, another rookie, the 21 car of Austin Johnson. Joel Brown, the 43 car, going to start in position number seven in, in eighth place. Going to be the 81 car of Brandon Bucks. Got Ryan Potter, the 60 car, inside of row number five. And then you'll have the ace pool repair 59 car of Ryan Steinhoff. Brandon Osborne is going to start out in position number 11. There we go. Who's outside is going to be the 12 car of Ryan Steven. Alexander Reno going to start in position number 13. Zachary Guzman going to start in 14th. The 28 Essary 92 car going to start in 15th. 16th going to Tyler Thomas. We got Aaron Beaver in 17th. Guys who didn't qualify. James Hilton is going to be starting 19th, uh, 18th, 19th. Tony Wilson, Robert Keller in the four car in the last position. Pace car. Gonna make its way down to the safety of pit lane. 100 laps goes on to the scoring pylon. Who will complete those first? We have a Twitch poll here coming out. Make sure you get your votes in if you want. If not, you are good to go, but we are green here in Texas. I messed up. Give me one second. Jason Lance, Leonard Fonterero battling side by side for that top spot here. Heading into turn three and four for the first time here tonight. You see Nick Sargent in the 48 car. Now, who's going to save enough tire to be here at the end? And who's going to continue to use their tires to get towards the front? You see a lot of people kind of lagging back a little bit. The 67 car going to lead the first lap here. Probably feels a little wrong after... The pole didn't go to him. 86 going to have a run down the back stretch to 67. Going to go block the bottom. Jason Lance comes out of the throttle a little bit. The battle for first, second, and third. Heating up. Austin Johnson making his way up to the fourth position. And then you have a little bit of a gap. Back to Kyle Cleveland in the 11. That's your top five as they run. You'll see who's using their tires and who's going to start to come alive towards about lap 10, lap 15 of this run. For the most part, everybody is single file. You do have some side-by-side -side between Joel Brown and the 59 car. 59's on the inside. Joel Brown and the 43 on the outside in that Coors machine. A little loose. I can tell that these cars are loose out here tonight. We've seen the leader get loose a couple of times. Joel Brown got loose a couple of times there. The battle rages on for this eighth position. Single file in front, single file behind, so we'll stay with this battle. Joel Brown trying to squeeze the door of the 59 car, 59 all the way on that bottom lane. 43 gets a little loose on exit. He's going to have to drop in behind Steinhoff, and he does so for that ninth position. You see Siv Ryan now back here, the 12 car. A little wide. 
I say a little. It's, it's very wide. In one and two. Still in front of the 80 car. Now, a little bit of a gap being built up from the 67 car of Fodorero. Still single file, one through seven, all within two seconds of each other. There's Kyle Carpenter, also known as Jerry Reed in the chats, 77 car. Started in fifth, dropped a couple of spots, but I believe he is on the same strategy as most people should be, trying to save tires for that 77 uh, Camaro, Trans Am, Smokey and the Bandit, GM Goodrich Service Plus, every ting in the world on that car. Creeping up on the 81 Supra. All right, who wins Texas? The field or the 81? So, um, interesting. Interesting. Normally the 22 wins those. So I, I that that that's a that's that's the first. I think that's the first here on Monday. I don't believe uh, the 81's been out here on a on a Monday to begin with. So uh, we're we're tied with 81 in the field. So um, I don't know. I, I'm I'm thinking out of those choices. I'm believing. I'm thinking the field for uh, tonight. So. Go back and do another rookie uh, shout out here. Austin Johnson, first season with us here at OCRP iRacing. The 21 car didn't exactly have a great uh, showing. He gets loose on the bottom there. A little too much sauce on that. Kyle Cleveland going to take advantage of it. Bass Pro Shop. Number 21 is going to fall back to the fifth position. But, I mean, he's still, you know, starting at six up to fifth. Might be running his tires uh, kind of ragged here. We still haven't seen anybody else uh, start to come alive. Uh, we do have some battle for position back here. We do have Joel Brown and Steinhoff battling for it. You got uh, Ryan Steven and Chris Essery duking it out. Steven all the way to the outside is going to come under fire from the car behind him. S3 though in that two, starting the 15th, up five spots so far into the top 10 for the first time tonight. And it looks like the battle in front of him with Joel Brown and Ryan Steinhoff has uh, kind of cooled off as well. Working lap 11 of the 100 scheduled here for tonight. Tyler Thomas is out of the session. Three laps down. Come back here with uh, Anthony DeFrenchy, the 99 car. Started 21st, currently in 19th. I believe only 20 started with us. Move to Frenchie back here, the 99 car. Big boy Burgers. In front of him, Tony Wilson making uh, his season debut in the 76 car. Of course, Tony ran race control for us all last season. So, you know, I uh, want to thank him again for doing that. He, he figured he wanted to get behind the wheel again. So good to see him out on the track back here in 18th spot. And then we're going to show uh, Zachary Guzman as well, the Taylor Moon 26 car. I swear if he doesn't pick a different number fault than Ariel, we're going to have some problems. Started 14th, fell back three spots to the 17th position. The car behind him, Robert Keller. Or car in front of him, Robert Keller, the four car. Still doesn't have a paint for, uh, for that machine. So don't know what's going on with that. Started 20th up to 16th. And Reno has dropped the spot back to 15th. So, not too, uh, not too, not a strong showing for the 22 here early on. But of course, it is still very early on in the, in, in in this race. Very wide in turn one and two. Ryan Potter gets around him for that 14th spot.
The Potter started ninth, fell, has fall, fell back five spots. We do have some spots changing here. I believe Kyle Cleveland might have some issues. The 11 car is about to get leapfrogged by three cars. Side by side there, the 21 into 43. Joel Brown trying to get around Austin Johnson for that sixth position. Don't know what happened to the 11 car. I don't see any damage on the, that Supra. 21 squeezes right in. Gets all the way on the back bumper in the 43 car. Almost into the outside retaining wall. Austin Johnson starting to feel the the, uh, the tires slip away from him. As here comes uh, Kyle Cleveland, the fall victim to the 59 car. Steinhoff, power move to the outside. Into the wall a little bit, goes that 59 car. But still, everybody is just about five seconds. For first through 11th, five seconds from the race lead, which is now Jason Lance. Jason Lance saved up enough tire to get back around Fodorero here a couple of laps ago. He's led three laps so far. Fodorero back to seventh or second after leading 13 laps. Nick Sargent still hasn't led a single lap yet, but started fourth up one spot. Uh, let's see the 81 car, Brandon Bugs under fire from Kyle Carpenter in the 77 car. We're going to watch this battle. Little wide from the 81, 77 still in the tire tracks. Trying to diamond the exit off. Now the bottom lane here, Texas, is a lot more slipperier than uh, trying to exit on the high side, so... We'll see if that plays out for the 81 or has the 77 saved up enough of that tire to not even worry about it. Well, Kyle Carpenter, our highest running rookie now in the 77 car. Joel Brown on a tear. I mean, he, he, he fell back a couple, quite a few spots on, at the initial start, but has rebounded his way back up to six in that course for Mustang. Ryan Steinhoff being followed. Austin Johnson back to ninth. Chris Essery now under fire from Ryan Steven. Steven going to the inside. This is the battle for that first spot in the top 10. Aaron Beaver looking to join the party. As well as Ryan Potter and Kyle Cleveland. All the way back to 14th after running in fourth. Got a gaggle of cars here for this battle. I'll tell you what, we'll go on board with Ryan Potter. And I will put it on the gyro cam so y'all can see how much different turn one and two is from turn three and four. So here we go, crank it up. Here's the gyro. It's a great run to see how much the car, the right side of the car, kind of raised up. Now you see here a lot more angle, means a lot more grip. You can put the power down and carry a lot of momentum off of these corners. You see Essery now under fire from Potter. We're on board with. Aerial coverage provided by who knows. The 21 car gets it to the wall. That's Austin Johnson. Esri and Potter almost collide. Very close. Potter on the inside. He gets onto the apron twice in that turn. There is some right side damage to that two car. They're approaching the corner mark of this race. Two laps before we get there. Jason Lance still out front now. And that'll be his 10th lap led right there. 
hasn't looked back since. He has a two second advantage over Leonard Fodorero. Nick Sarge is still keeping up with them. Uh, Brandon Bugs, Kyle Carpenter back here in fourth and fifth. Jason Lance last season had quite a quite quite a quite a uh, rookie season. So uh, in the Monday League, he got a win. Five top fives and six top tens out of eight races that he participated in. Um, did very well. He won at Martinsville. Overall had a great season in the Mondays. And then for Thursday night. Or season eight from uh, Thursday night. Looking for him. He didn't really have a great uh, showing. Kind of, kind of ran out of luck. So he's looking to get this win here early on in the season. Go ahead and get that out the way. Move on. Focus on trying to uh, put this momentum towards the Thursday night program. Uh, one top five and four top tens last season in Thursday. So. I mean, still, still nothing to shake a stick at. It's really hard to get top fives and top tens in this in this league now. As many people as we've uh, we've added over the past uh, couple of seasons. So, uh, Robert Keller now in danger of going a lap down. Looks like he has heavy right side damage to that four car. Yes, a lot of right side damage to that four car. Approaching about halfway through this fuel run. Keller's going to give him as much room as he possibly can. Hands going to be out the window for that. And three seconds behind. Fodorero will get to, uh, to do the same thing as well. So... Let's see... Keller is the first car one lap down. Uh, Tyler Thomas did uh, disconnect from it. Uh, let's see here. Beaver running in the top 10 position here. Pretty close to Ryan Steven. Good to see if he can't wrestle away that ninth spot. Ooh, a little blinky boy there. Ryan Potter on a tear. Stayed up a lot of tire, but uh, I mean, to 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 what avail? He's back here in twelfth. So Aaron Beaver to the inside of the twelve car, ninety-seven, trying to get around him. Steven almost into the outside retaining wall. Through the quad oval, they work, and it does look like Aaron Beaver has got that spot for the time being. Here comes Ryan Potter, as well. So so far. There's been some action, not a lot, but some action. Kyle Carpenter getting around the 81 for that fourth spot. Oh, 81 in the wall. 81 major contact with the outside rotating wall. Misjudged entry into the corner. I'm going to lose a ton of time. Car is very hurt now. See that battle for second starting to heat up. I'm going to move the camera up to that one. I love these static camera views. You see the 67 getting loose coming out of turn two. That's going to put Nick Sargent to the inside. Of the 48, Sargent looking to take over that runner-up position. Going to slide up the track a little bit. The 67 backs out. It's still early on in the going. 67 absolutely wheeling the car. To go on board on his roll bar. 
and just show you how much this 67 car is working that wheel. He's turning right more than he is left. See him losing a ton of time, a ton of time to that 48 car as well. Looking for close battles on the track. Uh, let's see, Ryan Potter and Ryan Steven, maybe. And not really. I mean, Differenti has went a lap down. Differenti's actually in the pits now. Bringing a 99 to the attention of his crew. Actually missed his pit stall. Might be over too far left as well. Yeah. That is a shame. That's going to put him multiple laps down here. Uh, let's see. Keller just came in and taking his fast repair as well as Austin Johnson. Who pit last time around as well. So DeFrenchy now trying to get back out onto the racing track, racing surface. And get back to the log and in some laps. You see the 67 and the 77 starting to heat up this battle. Kyle Carpenter going to the inside of Fonterero into turn three. Very close indeed squeezing one another. Carpenter has the spot at the line. And Fodorero relinquishes the spot at the entry into one. And a pass for the top five. The 80 car finally into the top five for the first time tonight. Yo, Brown has been passed. A lot of damage on that 43 car. Everybody's just spaced out almost perfectly enough to where there's really nothing happening here. So, leading 24 laps so far tonight, Jason Lance put on a clinic. Fodorero led early on. We have been caution free the entire night. And see, this is where saving the tire strategy kind of comes to bite you in the, in the butt here. The 11 car in the wall. He's trying to get to the inside of the track. That's going to put him a lap down. What a shame. Kyle Cleveland had a promising night early on in the top five. But now it's going to be mired a couple of laps down as he's making a green flag pit stop, probably unscheduled as well. So we're going to be looking for the leader. What does he do? Does he just get to lap 50 and then come in and, and just go ahead and split the race half and half? I'm pretty sure these cars can go at least 55 to 60 laps on fuel. We will see here. Coming up shortly. So what would be the plan? To come in and have to race? Or would it be to just try and uh, make these tires last as long as they could go? Or what? A couple of people starting to come alive. Nick Sargent. Up to second, actually battle for that second position. Easily, easily hands it over to that 77 of Kyle Carpenter. He started in fifth, up to the second position here late in this run. Uh, 
I know Kyle. He likes to run the uh, 87 cars a lot more than anything else on iRacing. So he should know all about that tire saving here. Now, tires are not going to be an issue. They got three sitting in the pits. The issue is, is can this race continue to go as smooth as it has? Now, we've seen a couple of guys get into the wall, seen a couple of guys having, having to make three flat pit stops early. We have a multitude of cars lapped down. Austin Johnson, the first, the only car one lap down. If caution comes out, he gets the lucky dog. Chris Essery on pit road here on lap 43. Don't know if this is scheduled or not. But the deuce is loose in the pits. Puts him a lap down. But I mean, it's still Jason Lance's race right now to lose. He's got to be absolutely flawless coming into these pits. See Kyle Carpenter back here. Uh, let's see. Uh, Nick Sargent into pit lane, pitting from the third position. So we're looking at a two-stop race. So this is going to be a two-stop race unless people can actually stretch it. This changes a lot. So if you're running 45, or are we short pitting here? Because we only have 55 laps left. I'm pretty sure you can run about 60 laps of fuel in these cars. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm almost 100% sure. 22, Alexander Reno going a lap down on the track. Oh, he gets into the wall. Heavy contact for the Union Pacific 22. He is in 13th place, currently one lap down. Not the night that he wanted. His, uh, his win last season actually came at a one and a half mile track uh, at Atlanta. Completely different from this Texas track. So, uh, Zachary Guzman. Still uh, trying to stay on the lead lap. He's got S3 behind him. It doesn't like Fodorero and the 81 car have all, both come elected to come into pit road here right before the halfway point. So now all eyes are on this 86 car. The longer he stays out here, he's running 33 ones. We're gonna go on board with the 67. We're going we're to see what he's running. Actually, let's see. Essary has just came out. 31-7. And a 33-1. That's a second and a half difference in, in pace between our race leader and somebody on fresh tires. 59 cars in the pit. Almost misses box. Luckily stopped in the nick of time. Jason Lance still out on the racetrack. He's going to stretch it as long as he can. He saved those tires up very early in the in the run. Started on pole tonight. Saved the tires up, battling with with the 67. Let it, let it, let him get in in front of him. Let him pull away. We are working our halfway lap here, working lap 50 of 100, will be halfway this time by. We'll see if this 86 car comes into pit now. Looks like he's gonna come in this time. 86 car leader pitting from the lead. Won't end up to 45 mile an hour. The 80 to 77 will look to stay out this time. The 97 as well. And 
It does look like a pit stop is happening here. 80 pitting from the lead. 77 going to stay out one more lap. So a second and a half is a lot of time here on the racetrack. These guys are going to have to have to hope that this thing stays green. Now they can all make it to the end. I firmly believe that every single car out here can make it to the end if they save enough tire. But you see the 67 and the 48 battling. Now that's for position, but they are a lap down. They're right behind the race leader. Now the leader's going to try to come into pit here. Actually, he's not. He's going to stay out on the track once again. They're going to get their lap back naturally. Around the outside goes Fonterero. And there goes Sargent. Potter yet to pit. Joel Brown yet to pit. Tony Wilson yet to pit. Zachary Guzman yet to pit as well. Jason Lance chasing down the 77. We'll see if Carpenter decides to come in this time. And he doesn't. He stays out on the racetrack. So this, this confirms that they can go the distance. And from here, especially those who pitted at lap 45. Because that's where we saw the green flag pit stops basically start. We saw the 48, the 67. 77 is going to let the 86 go by. It, it just looks like he's standing still out on the racetrack. Let's see what he does this time. He is going to come into the pit lane. We'll lead a couple of laps. Down to 45 he comes. And now Kyle Carpenter pitting. Ryan Potter pitting as well. Tony Wilson stays out. I don't know if he's going to get credit with leading that lap. But the 76 car out front for the first time in what feels like forever. Good on him. Now, Fodorero's, Fodorero is going to have the, the race lead. But they also have five lap older tires than the 86 of Lance. 86 of Lance has about four seconds on the 80 and 6. Who is right on the or the or who the 81 is right on for that sixth position? Chris Essery back here as well. A couple of seconds off. Guzman into pit road. And Wilson still out on the racetrack. Wilson still out on the racetrack. He's got to come in one of these times. That's the 43 car getting uh, unlapping himself. That puts 15 cars back on the lead lap. Actually, scratch that. That puts 14 back on the lead lap because uh, the 26 car looks like he might have missed his pit. Nick Sargent now getting ready to be under fire from Jason Lance. And Fodorero waiting for Tony to, to come into pit. Tony's in the pit lane this time. And Fodorero into the race lead for now. The 11 car took a wild ride. Trying to stay out of everybody's way. This Kyle Cleveland just went a lap down. Heavy right side damage on that 11 car. Tis a shame. Tis a shame. Steinhoff and Essery duking it out for that sixth position. Essery, of course, came in a little bit earlier than the 59 car did. And there's Tony Wilson rejoining the fray. Going to be a lap down.
Jason Lance has gotten around Nick Sargent for that third position. 40 laps to go. Leonard Fodorero out front. Followed by Jason Lance in second. We've got Nick Sargent in third. 80 car in fourth. The 81 in fifth. Steinhoff in sixth. Essery in seventh. Don't know what exactly happened to the 77. 77 went from being a top five car to uh, rolling around in eighth now, 12 seconds off the lead. Must have had some major uh, miscommunication in the pits for that 77. Uh, Aaron Beaver, ninth, and Ryan Potter, your top 10 as they run. And you can see the gaps of these cars. That's third and fourth getting ready to start duking it out. See the 87 all the way on the bottom of the racetrack. See the 80 doing the same thing as well. 80's going to get around to 48 here. Nick Sargent might be saving tires. I mean, he is probably a down about seven or eight, six, seven laps to the 80 on tire. Now, how much has Jason Lance been saving? Because not only does he have to worry about getting up here and passing the 67 car, he's going to have to worry about fending off this 80 car for too long. About a two-second gap in between those two contenders. Saw Ryan Steven is shot in danger of going a lap down. As we're here in Texas, for the Texas Two Step 150, you are watching the OCRP Monday Night League here. I just want to say I appreciate y'all coming out and enjoying this race with us. Um, it's been green ever since the drop of the first green flag. Zero cautions so far. All these drivers, for the most part, still have two sets of tires left in the pits. And Jason Lance has showed it. One practice, one the pole. He has shown the speed. As he's shown the discipline to save those tires. As you saw, the 67 car gets extremely loose. Out of turn number four, the 86 car going to the inside and retakes the race lead. Baderera fighting back to the inside though. Has the bumper there. Has the preferred line into three and four. Lance up the racetrack. He's gonna let him have that spot back, but that's gonna let that 80 car creep up even closer. Now the gap between first and third, 1.3 seconds and closing. Here goes the 86 once again. Now the bottom might be the shortest way around the racetrack, but it is in no way, shape or form the fastest as the 67 car not gonna be able to put up a run to charge back to the inside here. The 86 now finally scot free of Fodorero. And that's the difference five to six laps makes on these tires. Jason Lance putting the 12 car lap down. There is not a, I mean, there is a pretty close battle now. Uh, let's see the 77 and 81 starting to duke it out. Here goes Carpenter to the inside of Bugs. Reno in front of him. He takes over that spot easily. Now Jason Lance, all by himself, has almost put a second between himself and Fodorero. He's kept the distance about the same between himself and the 80 car. Nick Sargent out of the picture now. Back here, three seconds, or almost five seconds back off the race lead. Uh, Kyle Carpenter and Brandon Bugs, that battle we were just showing you moments ago. 
out of the question as well. These guys from, I'd say, 4th on back to 11th and 12th, they need a caution. There is no other way that they are going to have a shot unless the yellow flies here rather quickly. Of course, you know, I talked about the reconfiguration of Texas at the top of the broadcast. You know, I've, I've shown it to you as far as how the the banking is different in both sides of the racetrack. One and two, completely different than three and four. Uh, three and four was left, left alone. One and two was widened and banking was taken out of it. So it makes it makes it a hard challenge. Do I want to be good in one and two, or do I want to be good in three and four? Three and four gets you all your speed, but you can lose all of that speed heading down the backstretch if you don't get one and two right. As we are 29 laps to go, Jason Lance, cool, calm, and collected out here in the 86 car. As a second and a half gap to second. Next car on his list be Joel Brown in a 43 car. The 99 of Anthony DeFrenchy is one lap down right now. We have four cars one lap down. DeFrenchy, if passed, will be the first car two laps down. 99 car goes very wide. Let's see if the 86 car can get past him here. Will not do it. He'll catch a little bit of draft off of DeFrenchy. And Jason Lance back to the bottom of the racetrack. Differentiate to the high side. Let's him by. Scott Free. The Ryan Potter and Chris Essery duking it out. Potter started in ninth tonight. Hasn't led a lap tonight. Uh, a couple of wins last season in the Monday Night League. Battling with the Monday Night Champion, Chris Essery, for that ninth position. To the inside he goes of the two car. Essery not having the night that he thought he was going to have. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to find battles, trying to find close battles. Um, this, I mean, this is the closest battle between Potter and Essery, so I don't want to keep it focused on the leader the entire time. Uh, let's see, Kellett having his uh, having a night back here at 18th, two laps down. He had to pit early in that first round of pit stops. A lot of right side damage to the four car. Uh, Reno not having a good night either. The 22 car. Uh, kind of struggling here, to be honest with you. A lot of right side damage to the Union Pacific 22. Austin Johnson, strong early in the first about 10 laps and kind of fell off after getting in contact with the bottom of the apron in three and four, I believe. Got loose, fell back, and just could not recover. A couple of times he smacked the wall as well. Uh, we were just on to Frenchy. He's 15th, first car two laps down. You saw Guzzi as well as this gaggle of cars is forming. Uh, Guzzi in 14th. One lap down. At least he's where he started. Um, I'd say for the most part, I haven't seen a lot of uh, damage on his car. For now. So having a good run. Of course, Tony, we, we saw him stay out, led a couple of laps. In that 76. Love that, uh, that powder blue on that car. And then in 12th, Ryan Steven getting passed by the 48 car. One lap down, your lucky dog recipient, as long as he doesn't get into the wreck, if there is a wreck that happens uh, towards uh, this back half of the race. We're in the final quarter of the race. Joel Brown in 43, we saw him uh, 
Kind of mid-pack, early still mid-pack. He's in 11th right now, 4-3 car, winner last week in the Monday night. A lot of right side damage to the Coors car. Um, just over... Over judging how much you can actually put into the car coming out of turn two has been the downfall of a lot of people here tonight. Brown is no different. You just see Reno get into the wall there as well in front of him. Uh, we were just on board with Essary, uh, of course, in the top ten. Uh, Tony Wilson just went a lap down, just to update. Uh, Ryan Potter, we just saw the battle. He's battling with Steinhoff now. That is for position the eighth spot. Taken over from Ryan Potter. So that means we're going to have to go back to Steinhoff. Just lost that eighth position. Trying to fight back in that Camaro, but um, kind of kind of a iffy day as well for him. Um, I believe a lot of these guys kind of got caught up in the tire saving strategy as we have 20 laps to go in this race. Uh, let's see. Bugs saw him get into the wall a little earlier on in the 81 car. Um, practice mid-pack. Uh, he is under fire from Aaron Beaver. This is a battle for position up here as well. But it looks like the 81 might have used up the right side tires. Uh, had reports from the infield that he was at about 12% on that right front coming in on lap 45. So I don't think he has much to, uh, to save. Or much, uh, much tire to give for that 81 car. The 97 Aaron Beaver started 17th. Up 11 spots into that sixth position. He's got two and a half seconds if he can get to Kyle Carpenter to try and get a top five under his belt early on in the season here. A um, little loose on exit, it seems. But other than that, the 97s had a quiet day. Picked his way through the field methodically. And is reaping the benefits now in that number 97 Coyote tractor machine. Of course, we saw Kyle Carpenter earlier just getting around Ryan Steven there, putting, um, clearing the lap down car. Ryan Steven getting in his wall a little bit. But uh, Kyle Carpenter, uh, very close to winning last week into Thursday night. He will not be joining us on Thursday. See him get a little loose off of turn four. And he's where these tires start to wear off is where you'll start to see these guys start to get very loose. The rear end starting to come around on a lot of these drivers so a lot of right side damage or minimal right side damage to that 77 car and then we go up uh let he's led four laps tonight as well so he started fifth in fifth a uh, Fonterero started outside pole tying with jason lance for that top spot for the pole unfortunately just hasn't been able to put together the right stuff to stay out in front of that 86 car, 67. I can guarantee you he's unburnt his stuff up. Uh, looks like Tony Wilson's gonna get around him here. Yeah, Fodorero's gonna go to the outside, let the 76 get around him, possibly. But 23 laps led tonight. Not too shabby for the Amazon Chevrolet. He will be back Thursday night with us. So he would be one to watch for on Thursday night. Nick Sargent, the 48 golf stopper, Chevrolet Camaro. Started fourth up to P3. Been kind of um kind of quiet working up here with uh Fodorero. Um ooh, Austin Johnson smacks the wall hard. Out of turn number four. One of the car is multiple laps down. Hopefully they can get that sorted out. Get out of the way of the lead lap cars. But Nick Sargent. Is still holding his own out here. He's about 11 seconds off the race lead. As time keeps slipping away. 13 laps to go. We're here with the 80 car. Starting at 11th. He saved his tires early on in the run. Kind of bit him a little bit. I think he, he, if, if he could uh, redo this, he would have went ahead and went a little bit harder, a little bit, fa uh, a little bit quicker. 
but um, as it stands right now, he's in second. And he's 1.2 back. He's maintained that gap. I don't know if he's if he's saved enough. They pitted about a lap apart. So I don't know if he's saved enough to make it to the end here to try and make a push in the last 10 laps or what's happening with that. So, um, I mean, basically it is what it is on that. 12 laps to go, we're working lap 89. And then the 86 car, Jason Lance, of course, our race leader, 58 laps led so far tonight. Put on a clinic so far, but as I just said, is the, is the 80 saving enough to put together a late charge here and try and get around Jason Lance for this race win. That is going to be the question. Lance has been nothing but flawless so far. He's hit his marks every single lap that I've seen him, seen him run. And he's, he's just been, he's put on a masterclass here tonight. Back here, though, we got a battle for the fourth position. Kyle Carpenter to the inside of the 67 car. You see the 21 in tow. That is a lap down car. Car does not matter in this. And Carpenter gets around for that fourth position. So Fadarero hoping these, these last 10 laps wind down quickly to where he can uh, not have to worry about that 97 car of Beaver. And as soon as I start to say something about the 80, 86 car, the 80 car comes alive. So now is the 86 going into save mode. If there is a caution flag here in the last 10 laps, it's not going to matter how much long run speed you got. It's going to matter how much short run speed you got. And the 86 has shown it so far. The 86 has shown it so far. But this is... This is almost like there's an extra set of tires on that 80 car because, I mean, it literally took him one lap to get up to him. Kudos to the tire saving of the 80 car. And here we go. Battle is on for the race lead. Eight laps to go. The 86 and the 80 about to duke it out. Now it looks like the 86 is saving. Now he's going to go to the inside. 80 tries to force him into the grass. Nothing doing. So now the 86 car gets back around him. He's going to have a wide berth. Going to try to dime in the corner. Going to peek to the inside. He's there. Has to run out of turn number two. Has a great run out of turn two, actually. He's going to clear him by turn three. And I believe that dip, 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 that's all, folks. Let's see if Jason Lance has anything left in the tank. I know he's going to start pushing here. He's going to try to start pushing, but uh, I believe that he had burned his stuff up way too early in the run to be able to put together any kind of, of, of drive here. I thought maybe he had something, but the 80 car stayed quite a bit of tire and just made it look like child's play out here. So, the Carpenter and Sergeant trying to get something here. The 77 car. Peeking to the inside of the 48. This is a battle for the third spot. And Kyle Carpenter takes over that bottom step on the podium very handily. The 
Potter and Fodderero. Fodderero has fallen out of the top five. Beaver now into the top five. Uh, here comes Potter and, and Fodderero. That is the battle for the seventh position. Not that much of a battle anymore. The 60 car going to clear him out of two. Three laps to go here. Looking for close battles. Looking for close battles before we go into the rest of this race. It doesn't look like there is any, to be honest, would you? Um, Essary. A half second back from Steinhoff, so two laps to go. And the 80. I mean, two and a half seconds now. That's kind of, uh, that's insane. Absolutely insane. One to watch on Thursday for sure. Running with a chip on his shoulder this season in both of them. So, you know. White flag out. One more lap to go here at Texas. The caution flat flag will not fly. And that's going to do it out of turn number four. The 80 car going to come to the start finish line and take the win here at Texas. There goes Lance across the line. Carpenter making his way out of turn number four. Ugh. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. So, we'll see what goes on in the front here. Bring up our results here. Of course, the 80 wins tonight. Uh, you got the 86. Jason Lance finishes second. Third, Kyle Carpenter. Fourth goes to Aaron Beaver. Nick Sargent in fifth. Brandon Bug sixth. Ryan Potter seventh. Ryan Steinhoff in eighth. Winner Fodorero in sixth uh, in ninth. And the two. Chris Essery rounds out your top ten. Joel Brown in eleventh. Tony Wilson in, in twelfth. Ryan Steven thirteenth. First race in a long time. Good effort from him. Uh, Zachary Guzman in 14th. Austin Johnson, 15th. Alexander Reno in 16th. Then these goes to Robert Keller, Anthony DeFrenchy in 18th, 19th. Kyle Cleveland in 20th. Tyler Thomas. James Hilton. Uh, I don't know why he didn't uh, get to get to come out here, but um, he didn't get to come out here. So, um, let's see. We'll mute them. And then wait for uh wait for everything to uh to come in here, so Waiting on the rest of the drivers to get into the driver's meeting.
Well, I mean, it was it was good. It was a good race. A um, lot of a lot of green flag. I mean, green to checkered. Um, if there was any kind of uh, caution, would have definitely changed up how these drivers would have uh, tackled this race. But I mean, in the end, it's it's all about tire saving, and um, you know, so that's how it goes. Um, was a hard fought race by a lot of these drivers out here, and um, man, I'm excited to see what Thursday. I don't think I don't think we're gonna have a green flag uh, racing throughout the entire race on Thursday night, but um. We uh we should have uh some kind of racing on Thursday night, so actually basically third place. I mean y'all y'all ready or like Alrighty, well uh that was a race for sure. Um Green to checkered. Love to see it. Um, guess we'll uh, go ahead and talk to our race winner, the 80 car, uh, Brandon Osborne. Uh, congratulations. Uh, just looked like you saved quite a bit of tire there at the end, and um, looks like Lance kind of ran out of it and made it look like child's play out there, bud. Yeah, I was waiting for Lance to, to kind of run out of some tire because he was running good. And unfortunately, the, the track temps here, the extremely high track temps in Texas just took a toll on people and you really had to race the track versus race everyone else on the track. And, you know, at the end of the race, that really showed. All right. Well, um, you know, learn a lot for uh, for Thursday night. Uh, can we count on you being a favorite for Thursday? Uh, we'll see. I think we've got a lot more guys racing Thursday, but uh, this was definitely beneficial. I had never been to Texas before, so figured I'd come out and give it a shot, and it, it went pretty well. But like I said, it's it's going to be less about the driver's skill and more about how much tire everyone can save towards the end of the race. All right, 10-4, 10-4, 10-4. Well, it was a great... Um... I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to between this stuff. Um, looked like a uh, pretty much a masterclass on how to save that right front tire. Um, so congratulations to you on the win here tonight. I'll move on to Jason Lance. Uh, unfortunately, a bridesmaid tonight. Um, led to most laps, but um, you know, just kind of just ran out of it there at the end. So uh, you know, how how hard were you trying to push to keep make sure that you keep the eighty behind you? And you know, um, just how was it uh, for you out here tonight? Well, first of all, when I seen Texas on the schedule, I got really excited because this is one of my uh, favorite racetracks. And, you know, congratulations to Osborne. And, uh, yeah, I had ran over 200 laps in practice just to get a sense on uh, the tire wear that we were going to have tonight. And I figured out uh, pretty well how to save tires, but uh, I guess Osborne figured that out, too. <laughs> Yeah, I was just running the same pace I had been running the whole race, but uh, I think Osborne waited until like ten, uh, two laps later to pit to me, so that might helped a little bit having that fresher tires. Not sure, but yeah, I, my car just uh, it was going fine there until it was like a light switch, everything is shut down, and then I got really tight. So at the end of the race, I only had like eleven percent. Uh, the tread left on the right front so it is a it was a great night but disappointing i didn't get the win but uh still i'm glad that we got a lot of the whole entire race ran under clean frack conditions you know i ran man yeah, i ran strong and i hope the running as well thursday night all right 10 four man 10 four uh so in third place tonight um kyle carpenter um didn't think you were going to be able to make it out here tonight, but you did. Um, what happened in that pit stop, man? Because you were there towards the front of the field, and then all of a sudden you dropped off the face of the earth. So uh, what happened, man? I uh, I stayed out like five laps later. I pitted on 54, coming to 55. Just uh, I, I know how much tires meant, and I was just thinking, 
I, I couldn't keep up with, with Lance. I was like five seconds behind him when he pitted. So I was like, well, we'll just try something. So I, I stayed out till 54, coming to 55 and hoping that by the end of the race, their tires would drop off and I would have those five extra lap fresher tires and then be able to catch back up. But I guess it, uh, I guess I stayed out too long and just lost way too much time. So that that's what happened on the pit stop. Just uh, glad to bring it back up and finish in third place. Yeah, it 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 was an amazing race, y'all. Um, kudos to everybody who uh, you know, not an easy track, especially with turns one and two being as 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 um. Uh, when they took the banking out of it, it just made this track a you know a, a nightmare for a lot of people. That turn two wall um, is is mighty uh, mighty inviting, and then you know as as loose as you got to set it up for one and two it makes the exit of four even loose even as much or more loose than what um, what it is coming out of two. And uh, I saw plenty of y'all dirt tracking it out of four, but um, a great race from y'all. Um, I'm going to wrap up the broadcast and then I'm going to uh, come back in here and we can go through the, uh, through the driver's meeting. If you want to go ahead and start us out with the bottom, going up to the top, Tony, and then uh, we'll uh, we'll go from there. So <coughs> I'm going to end the broadcast here. Um, again, it was a great race. Um, Grant to Osborne on the win. Well deserved. So I I uh, am going to uh, end the 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 broadcast here. I really appreciate y'all coming out tonight for the Texas Two Step One Fifty. Um, it's been a pleasure to broadcast this for y'all. Um, congratulations once again goes out to Osborne. Uh, we'll be back next week. It, it, they are saving. Their, uh, their, their allotment of cautions for next week. Next week, we'll have 200 laps at the Bristol Motor Speedway for the running of the, the, uh, the, the, the Bristol Night Race uh, 200. So um, I hope y'all had a great time. I had a blast calling it for you. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm still trying to get over it. Uh, well, I'm, you know, I'm in the middle of having this COVID crap. So um, we'll be back next week, hopefully, um, at 100%. And... Um, yeah, y'all, y'all enjoy. We're gonna go back into the bra into the race control, and um, we're gonna go in and um, you know, see what to see what the uh, see what the people say. So, um, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get everything else going for them, like points and stuff. So, if y'all can just uh, bear with me for a couple of minutes um, while they're doing that, I will. Uh, I'll be good. So uh, until next time, have a great, uh, great rest of your evening. Have an awesome day tomorrow. We'll catch y'all back here next week for Bristol Action.